What's up, YouTube? This is the Needed Podcast, episode 92, man. And this, I mean, you know, I... I'm at a crossroads right now. I talk about crossroads a lot, chat. I talk about it a lot when Madden, like, if you want to be good or you want to be bad or you want to be a complainer. I talk about the crossroads, right? I'm at a crossroads in my content career, I guess, or my mental, my mindset, right, chat? That's where I'm at. My mindset for my my purpose, my purpose. Now, I'll be honest, chat, as we get into this podcast right here, as we get into the get into the get into the get into the what is up, what is up, what is up. Listen, I don't have no, I don't have no intro, I don't have enough. Let's just get right to the shits. Me, myself, right, I love Madden, right? One million percent. Like, it is probably my biggest passion in life because football, Madden is a simulation of football. No matter how far you want to stretch that word, or how you want to take that word, if you want to take that, how literal you want to take that word, it is a football simulation. We all grew up football fans. You know, I am a Madden fan because I'm a football fan, and I think that speaks for 95 to 100% of Madden players. Like, we are purebred football fans. I hope, chat, you guys can agree with that, and YouTube, you guys can agree with that. Like, we are football fans before everything, right? My favorite players growing up was um, Peyton Manning. I think all of us, honestly, Chat, now you guys agree. I think everybody that watches football at some point had the utmost respect for Peyton Manning, right? Peyton Manning is probably like one of the few people that nobody can hate Peyton Manning, right? I, I feel like Peyton Manning is like that everybody has respect for Peyton Manning. Do it the line and make hot routes and everything and just dissect the defense and call the right play at the right times is what separated him from every other quarterback at the time. You know, and so that and our opportunity to try to be kind of like Peyton Manning was playing Madden, you know. And uh, one thing I always wanted Madden to grow, and I, I've always felt like this. This is how I've always felt. If I could just sit down and explain why I love Madden and why I enjoy it so much, that I could make anybody else feel the same exact way. Long as they're a football fan, they have an open mind. I feel like I could explain it and I could open people's minds to why I love the game so much. And I feel like if they saw what I saw and they enjoyed what I enjoyed, they would like Madden just as much as I do. Since I've gotten uh, more into the community and more into the world, essentially, um, it's always been something that I felt like, you know what, this is something I wanna do. I wanna make people see competitive man. I wanna make people see the nuances of the game. I wanna make people see uh, what the naked eye doesn't see. You know, what the what the casual doesn't see, I want to help people see that. I want to help people love this sport that I, we all have a passion for, right? Honestly, in this position that I, I have put myself in as a, a, a Madden content person, right? I still feel like it is my biggest passion is to make people understand what makes competitive Madden great. No matter what the year may be, whether it be this year, and this year was terrible for the competitive side. It was terrible. You know, and, and it's it, it is and it's honestly probably one of the harder ones to explain to people. You know, and 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 but I still feel I could do it for anybody. You know, I could do it for anybody. I could if someone is open-minded, I just feel like they're, they're, I have so much passion in it. But I've also felt like it's one of my jobs to kind of bring these two groups together as best as possible. No other game has this big of a disconnect between the fans. I don't think there's like, I feel like Call of Duty, every Call of Duty player looks up to the competitive side. Like I feel like Madden is not that way. One, it's already a small game. Uh, and then to split the viewership is rough. So I feel like, bro, I'm in a position to really kind of open each side's eyes to the other side of the Madden fanhood. Like to try to bring these two groups together. That's always something I feel like, man, I could do that. Oh, and this week I was just absolutely exposed to the most closed-minded, just ignorant, angry people in the world. I have just never seen th these people this mad about something that at the end of the day, chat, at the end of the day, the Xbox has a button that you can turn this shit off. There are so many activities a human being can do in their lives that if this is making you this miserable, why are you why are you why are you mad about it?
perception that we have is that it, it's the franchise guy. I, I mean, I think the franchise guys are... I think they're super bots. I, I do think they're bots, but I feel like they're an important part of the community. I don't think they're ignorant. I just think they're bots. Because this is how I feel. Like, if you were good at the game, right? Say you were the best person in the CFM, right? I, I'm the kid of, of, you know, John and Tom's CFM, and I'm kicking their ass. At some point, you kind of get curious, like, bro, maybe I could win some money because I'm so good, right? So I feel like if you're never curious of that, if you're never attempting to get to that, I just feel you're a bot. That's just that, that's just kind of how I feel. Absolute right. Now, this guy, this guy, Ryan Moody, this this guy. You no, know, I I have never, the only time I have had any interaction with this human being in my four years or whatever of being in the Madden community at this level, it has always been something negative. It has always been talking negatively about another person or Madden in general. There has never been an ounce of talent from this man, an ounce of positivity from this man, an ounce of anything credible other than absolute pure negativity either on another person or the game. That's it. Oh, and I feel like I honestly feel like me, I'm at the spot that I'm at because I am talented in so many areas. You know, and, and for someone to have the only thing they can do is talk negatively and rile up an angry mob that also is that mad at their life and that's their, that mad at their situation, it's easy to do. You know, if that's the way you have to go about it, I mean, I, what are you really bringing to the table? The biggest question I've gotten in the last four years, or at least, right? The last four years, the biggest question I have gotten is, how do I compete? Because what these, what these sim guys or these angry, angry human beings don't realize that there is a, a plethora of players that look at me, that look at Kiv and Drenny and Joke and say, this game changed their lives right? This game changed their lives. The money they won has changed their lives. How can I do that? Kids, men, everybody that plays men that think that. How can I do that? And that becomes their goal. Rather than shitting on their game, they're trying to figure out how can I help this? I'm good at the game. How can I get to the level where it changes my life? How can I get there? There is such a group of people that want that. And those are the people that continually ask me, how do I compete? So I think to myself, because I'm talented and I don't need to always talk shit on something or someone to get people to listen to me, I think, you know what, how can I help all these people at once? It was one of my most successful videos. In the off season of Madden, me, myself, who's not the biggest YouTuber in the world, I got 10,000 people to watch this video and show me a magnitude of support. A magnitude of support. And for me, I was excited because, man, this could start a little serious for me and everything. And this guy, Mr. Negative Angry, nothing, absolutely nothing positive that he brings to the table says, you know what? Let me tear that down because I need people to listen to me because they're not going to listen to my life. They're not going to listen to my day. They're not going to listen to what I can do. They're just going to listen to who I can shit on and who I can rile them up to get mad at because they're also mad just like me. So he says, you know what? I'm going to take this video and I'm going to spin it any way I like. This is my video now. Now it has 340 dislikes. I don't think I have 340 dislikes in my entire uh, catalog feeling like literally it's impossible to talk to these people it's impossible to it's impossible to bridge uh the two communities together that's what it made me feel like honestly madden mobile i turned on mad mobile today and I, I honestly was disgusted that people play that i don't know how anybody ever plays that how can one man do that to another person i, I have never had the heart or like the mind to do that, to, to, to just absolutely degrade somebody's thoughts and, and, and work like that. You know? I just feel like, I honestly feel like it's the most disgusting thing another human being can do. Really, I, I, when somebody, anybody's work, anybody's passion to absolutely degrade it in order for people to look at you is honestly the most despicable thing a human can do. I really, truly believe that. 
look, this person's working hard. They're accomplishing something. Let me tear that down to get people to look at me. To, to, that is an absolute scumbag. Seriously. Even somebody like Clint, bro. Like, he, y'all act like Clint doesn't care. You know? I'm talking to a target audience. My target audience was 1 million percent clear. I, I was clear as day about the target audience. But yet, no, let me tear this down because, listen, there, people have no reason to look at me. I am a talentless fuck. And people have no reason to look at me. So let me give them a reason by trying my best to tear someone else down. That is just the absolute pit of just just, just despicable human being. Where do we go from playing like scrubs to playing good if we're not tryhards? You try hard. I, I, I mean, listen, at the end of the day, I feel like Ryan is, I mean, I guess he's not super ignorant, but I, I asked him to be on a show. He said he has his own podcast and he's not allowed to do other shows. We may talk and record it or something. I don't know what he was saying, but he could not join the show because he was like, I have a deal where I can't be on other shows. I, I mean, I wasn't going to beg him, honestly, really. That wasn't my biggest deal, honestly. Top, like, listen, this is my, listen, my arc is this way. My arc will always be going up. You know why? Because I don't need to talk about another person. I don't need to talk about negative shit. Because everything I got going on is positive. And it's my own talent and my own effort. So my arc is here. It will steady to be here. As long as I want my arc to go this way, it will go this way. His arc is 1 million percent dependent on other people he can talk bad about it and mad and talking bad about it. One million percent dependent on talking about other people. Whereas me, I don't need to talk about anybody else in the world. Shit, I don't even need Madden to be good. I'll play Jax on stream and we'll have fun. Period. Between the CFM nerds and, and the angry people. I feel like they're, they're completely different people. See if I'm nerds are just bots, bro. And bots are good because bots have good hearts. And you guys make... Because listen, I, PTA, you know this. You watch me play every other game. I am literally a bot at every other video game that I play. It's kind of like me legit complaining about Call of Duty, right? I have zero place to say what's good and bad in Call of Duty or good and bad in MLB. I honestly feel like I have zero place of that because I'm not good enough to tell other people what's bad and good. In Call of Duty, I'm a bot, right? I go to shoot somebody, they start jumping and sliding. I feel like I can't bitch about that. It's not real, but he just shit on me, right? So I know what it's like to be a bot. That's why, honestly, what's crazy, I'm in the, I'm in the weirdest position in gaming. Because I know what it's like to be an absolute bot, and I know what it's like to be elite. And as an elite Madden player, when I hear the bots talk, that I have that reference when I talk about other games. I don't ever want to sound like the bots when it comes to other games. I never want to put a tweet out like, yo, man, hitting is way too hard in MLB. They got to change something. Because I know what that sounds like on the flip side. So I got both sides. Of, I have both sides of the argument. Like, I literally know what you guys sound like when you're bots. So I don't complain about a game that I suck at. I don't. Because I know I suck at it. And I probably would like it better if I was good at it. That is the ultimate question to all these madmen. Or the ultimate statement, man. You would like the game so much more if you were good at it. Period. Nobody likes something they're bad at. Right? Shit, getting my ass kicked on MLB. I was having zero fun today. I didn't like it. Because I'm not good at it. Golf. You want me to go golf? So my daddy would be like, you want to go golf in this? Hell no. You know why? I suck at it. So it makes me hate it. I say this game is stupid as shit. Why the hell am I hitting this little ass ball around? And I start saying the game sucks. Seriously. Because I'm so bad at it. For real. Golf is stupid as hell. Why would I want to play this dumbass game? I don't even have any teammates. Stupid ass rules. Why can't I hit it twice? If I, you know what I'm saying? Why I got to use a putter? Why can't I use a driver? I start saying stuff like that. Right? And that's seriously how the bots sound about Madden. Because they're not having fun. Because they're not good at it. Y'all like anything you're not good at? Seriously. I'm not good at sex, but I still like it. Jesus.
Seriously, that's how golf is. That's literally how golf is for me. I suck at it. Do I want to play it? No. Do I think the game is stupid? Yes. Right? I mean, I don't really think the game is stupid. I think it's an amazing game, and I watch it a lot. You know, it's 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 super impressive to me because I can't hit the shit at all. And it's a game I pretty much have given up on my life because I'm that bad at it. You know? And I think everybody is bad at golf. Nobody just hops on a golf course and goes off their first couple times. It just doesn't happen. Rich, how about this, Rich? If Madden 20 didn't have run plays, it might be the best game ever. Madden CFM is like... Madden CFM is like golf where you could throw the ball instead of hit it with a club. <laughs> I've been doing my best. I've been doing my best to try to keep these podcasts. I want to try to keep these under an hour um, going into Madden 21. It's going to be tough, man. Once we start talking, it really goes, man. What do you guys do? Honestly, you guys know me. I, I play video games. Like, I really do. I draw, right? What other hobbies do you guys have? And I want to know, do you guys spend any time or money on your hobbies? Like, and this is what's nuts to me is that how can... Seriously, how can... People ridicule other grown men for spending money on something they enjoy as much as video games. No, Skiba. No dudes could compete if the game was Sim. No fucking chance. If they came up with Sim rules, Kiv, Joke, Skimbo, uh, Problem, uh, Me, Ev Wesley, uh, everybody would still be tough. It, that shit is not saving a single bot in the world. There is no Sim rule that is saving any bot in the world. Because if you're that fucking good at the game, why would you just play Sim when there's a million dollars to win? One, you're not that good. Or two, you have a bitch-ass mindset. And that person will never be good. I hate when people think that Sim rules would change who's good at Madden. It wouldn't even come close. Honestly, you guys would be worse. It would make... It would make... Kiv and Joke and the, and Ghost and these guys that much better. Seriously, they would beat the shit out of y'all even worse. I promise you guys that. Kia, what? If the game was hard, what does hardcore sim? Oh, so with some of your bot friends would score on Joke if it was hardcore sim? What the fuck is that? Yo, what? Which which one of your Tommy bananas is gonna score on Joke on hardcore sim? What the fuck is that? I don't understand how bad the bots are and how good the, the you know some of the best Madden players are. Madden 21 is starting. What could I do CFM wise to prove you guys to prove to you guys that you know we would be good on any mode? Would you guys watch me play a sim CFM where I could only run I have like play cooldowns and punt on fourth down? Like, do you really think like like seriously? Is it worth? Because honestly, I would do it. I would do it because I think it would be fun. I really do if it was a committed CFM. I really would. But I don't know how... Do, do they have defensive cooldowns? Like, yo, you can't run cover two. <laughs> like, teams... The Tampa Bay Buccaneers ran cover two every play. The, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers ran, like, nickel normal cover two. Every play. Goins, one million percent. There's nothing wrong with being a bot. Bro, bots are 98% of video gamers. Bots are me. Watch me play Call of Duty tonight. I'm going to be hype as shit for the download to have to, to, get, to get killed more than I kill. That's what's going to happen. I'm going to have a, I'm going to be like a pig in shit tonight playing Call of Duty. Ha 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 ha. Just going out there getting blasted. Because that's what gamers are. We're all bots, honestly. Bots, bots run the video gaming world. They really do. Mutt is an arcade mode and it doesn't mean you're good at all. Guai moi moi gua moi. What was my name? I agree, man, and that's why they have this tournament. It's called the Madden Classic, dude. You show up, you play with regular teams from the the from the game. Downloaded the regular teams, you know, the regular NFL players on their specific rosters. You play with that, and you can win a belt that way. So unless you showed the fuck up for that tournament with your controller in your hand, I literally will never hear that complaint from anybody. I literally hate that complaint, unless you were at that tournament. If you were at that tournament and you're a regs head and you grind regs, cause they're out there and those dudes are tough and you can listen to them. But at the end of the day, if you didn't show up for that tournament, I don't wanna hear you complain. And P Jesse, and that's what Jesse says. Here goes Jesse. People didn't know about the MCS. And that leads me back to why I made the video in the first place. Here we go. We came full circle, Jesse. We came full circle. Let me tell you guys something. Where this moody guy is and where I'm going is completely different levels. 
listen, by the end, of, by this time next year, every little number, every little analytic will be over in every little atmosphere, like blown away. And you guys see it. 2K signs a deal with the NFL. Well, listen, I will get both games and I will play the shit out of both games and, and we will have fun. That's a lot on my plate, bro. I have a big ass plate right here, but I can handle the big ass plate. All right. This guy like Wesley G, you see him? He's just a fucking nerd. He sits in the house and runs bunch a million times a day. Wesley G. Do you guys do you guys think the MCS promotion is trash? Do you guys think that? The bots hate everything, Wesley. They hate bunch. They hate running. I don't know what they like. I don't know what the bots would like, bro. The bunch argument made me more mad. Now this year, this year, all people have to say to me is that people run with people run with a punter or quarterback. And honestly, I had to kind of shut up because they're right. That was bad, you know. But the bunch years, I I, I would have went to war with anybody. They're, they're all idiots. Do you think any of that? I agree. Obviously, I agree. The MCS uh, promotion could be a lot better. Um, do you guys feel like any of that burden falls on the players or it is not their responsibility? I feel like with all the work I've done and problem and, and I joke doing a little more work now, do, if we all made the same event, it would pop a little bit more because we're so much more uh, recognizable, right? I don't know how I realized there was competitive men. I guess I was, I don't know, I guess I was always kind of in that loop since I started playing like in 08 competitively a little bit. I guess I was always like in the loop. Obviously the run sucked this year, but after watching it at the highest level, I kind of began, as I understood the run game more and trying to defend it, I kind of enjoyed it more as the year went on, if that makes any sense. It talks about how EA spends more money on the video production than the prize pool. Am I the only one who doesn't give a shit about production? Yes, Bob Sacramento. <laughs> I think the production is important, and I think the production is very good of EA, bro. I feel like Madden 17 18 was huge, too. Maybe because me and Problem were in it. I don't know. Maybe we're just that we're just that much better than these Wesleys and shit. Maybe me and Problem really are just that much better than Wesley and shit. Biggest takeaway from the whole show is, man, I just, like... I still will always have a passion to try to teach people why man at the highest level is entertaining and why it's not the cheese and all this and mutt it's take uh, you know i feel like the negative look is just i can i feel like i can change that in anybody you know and and you know if it's that negative why do you do it and also man it just goes to like how do you approach any situation that you're in do you approach it approach it with just utmost negativity and anger and, and closed-minded just hatred if you don't like it or are you open-minded and a positive person you know and what type of energy are you bringing into everything that you do in life you know if you're mad at madden you're goddamn mad at your alarm clock that you have to wake up on tuesday morning every day right how are you going to approach you know your first hour at work the next day if you're that mad at it? are you going to approach it how you approach madden you know, and, and that, what type of energy are you bringing? Are you that person that's completely mad about somebody's opinion that doesn't affect your life at all? You know what I'm saying? And that's essentially my biggest takeaway from this week in Madden, honestly. And I just hope, I just hope that maybe one of the mad people out there, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and, and get a better attitude and really try to be a little bit more positive, even if it's about something that I don't enjoy at all, you know? And if I don't enjoy it at all, you know, I'm not gonna let it have that big effect on my life. Anyway, man, this was the show. Make sure you hit the like button. And honestly, the yard is gonna be popping. So get your six ready to play my six. I am dedicated to have the best yard team in the Madden community, Madden 21.